Okay, so here we've got Tommaso the tortoise. Um, obviously, he's been called Tommaso uh, by a previous owner before he came to uh, the tortoise club. Um, probably because he liked tomatoes. Uh, tomatoes obviously aren't ideal because, uh, again, they're very high in water uh, content. Fine for a drink, uh, but not very good for nutrition. So, he, really, he's now more on a weed diet, um, getting more solid poos and sort of getting more of a balanced diet and he's also getting a regular vitamin and mineral supplement as well dusted on all his food. Um, it took him a while to get used to it but he's now come round and he's doing really well. So we've got tomato in some typical water. Sometimes if you put water on their head it encourages them to, to drink as well. It's good to bath to any tortoise at the very least sort of once a week. Some tortoises it takes a while for them to get used to it and they want to get out. But if you have a, um, a solid sided uh, bowl, not a clear plastic tub, then it's less likely that they're going to try and climb out. You know, need quite high sides for some tortoises that might want to clamber out. But it's good to, to get them to sit in water because it encourages them to drink. Now, a lot of people, I know you're going to be saying tortoises never drink, but actually it's very, very subtle. Sometimes you can actually see... Um, the neck moving slightly where they're swallowing but the other thing is um, they need to cover their nostrils and their mouth in order to drink the other thing is they can take water up through their tail as well um, so just because you don't see them drinking doesn't mean that they're they're not drinking so it's something very good to do it's also very good for um, helping raise the temperature in the morning um, and it's also a good opportunity to check your tortoise and make sure that it's going to the toilet and everything else so um, there's my mini guide to how to bath the tortoise